I thought, well, the simplex is in a strange sideways position for maintaining the steam brake. We just take a look at the underneath. That's the loco upside down. Looking from underneath, it's leant up against the wall. So let's take a look at the rear end of the engine. And here you can see the, uh, the rear water tank with the drain plugs for draining out the tanks. Now, now this tank is connected by these tubes here from the two side tanks. There's a tube on either side, I'm trying to keep out my own shadow. You can see it there as well. And they connect into the rear tank. And then from the rear tank, down on this side here, from the tank, the rear tank and the side tanks, is fed the axle pump, which is down here. You can see the axle pump, which is here. And the, you can see the axle pump eccentric. That drives the axle pump. The steam brake that I've just been working on right there. Yeah, you see the steam brake cylinder, the cross shaft, and the handbrake, which is on a sort of a dog clutch here. You see the connecting rods going out to the various brake shoes, which are running on the treads of the wheels. The rods go on down. You can see it there. And then I had a slight problem, but I didn't have enough space between the cylinder block here and the wheel to put a brake block in there. So I put it on the back of the wheel and did a strange cantilever connection, which you can see the way it works. As this one pulls up, it presses down onto this one, which connects to the tread on the tire there. You can see the ash pan. All the axle box is well protected. No ash is going to get into there. I undo these and flip it down. And you can see the grate inside there. The grate's leaning forward a little bit because of the uh, engine's on its chimney. And um, but it's nice and deep. And has plenty of space for the ashes to fall in. You can see here all the valve gear, connecting rods, coupling rods, coupling rods, connecting rods. And you can see the amount of um, the amount of play there is in the wheels. The front ones not so much. These ones a little bit more. So I like to go around corners. And this one, there's a lot of play in the back of this. One in the rear one to allow that to adjust as it goes around corners. See here the whistle, quite a large whistle control from the cab, various pipe work for the axle pump and the balance pipe for the um, the rear water tank up here, which you've seen already. Screw mechanism for the um, handbrake injector. This is the um, water supply to the injector. That's the steam supply to the injector. I try and make the curves not too tight, as you can see there. And then the other side feeds up to the boiler through clacks. This is looking up at the crosshead from underneath. And that's the cylinder drain cock operating mechanism. So that's all the underneath of the steam engine. That's a lot more complicated just because of the pipe work.